So good evening all. Welcome to Crystal Edu Hub. As Crystal Net Examination, we are uh, with the program. We are conducting certain uh, programs and we are also having certain net coaching under Crystal Edu Hub. And the most and prime program for uh, our Crystal Edu Hub is history net program. So this is a open session and a free session regarding. How each one of you have to take care of regarding your certain preparation or certain preparation stages for your upcoming December cycle. That's today's discussion. I welcome all of you. So regarding this program, as you guys know, I have already informed this one. Thanks for joining our program, first of all. And myself, uh, Safwan, uh, I appeared for this examination for six times and each, uh, each of these uh, six times I have cleared this net, ex net okay, from this examination. So first of all, let's uh, start our discussion with why December 2023 cycle is that much important. Why December 2023 cycle is that much important? For that, you guys have to understand some very basic uh, history of this examination. So as you guys know, this uh, NTA that began to conduct this examination since 2018. Later, what we can see the period of Corona years that actually disrupted all the systems in the country, even the examinations also. So after this uh, Corona uh, period, India wanted to restore the examination. That's why they conducted a particular set in examination. I'll be writing some uh, points here, just listen. So they conducted, in 2022, they conducted their October examination. I don't know how many of you wrote this examination. If yes, just feel free to tell me. After that, 2023 onwards, they plan that they will be uh, restoring their routine cycle. NTS routine cycle is that they will conduct examination two times a year. Two times in a year. So in 2023, they decided that they will be conducting two times in a year. So they started their examination with the 2022 December cycle, means last year December cycle. They conducted that in that on february 28th is there anybody who wrote that examination or who, who appeared for that examination february 28th so it was basically of december, cycle, december 2022 soon after that they declared there will be examination on june june 2023 it was on uh, june 16th right right just on 16th june how many of you, is there anybody who appeared for this June cycle? Anybody, if yes, just feel free to message or tell me, or voice me, whatever it is. Okay, fine. Some of you, okay, fine. So June 2023, then next one is December 2023. So in 2023, we have three examination. One was 2022 December cycle held on February 28, then June cycle and December cycle. So simply we can see it's a third examination is going to be held on, going to be held in 2023. Okay, 2023. That's the first point. And another significant point is that you have much enough time. Consider from this cycle itself. 2022 October examination till February February 28 examination, you'll get around 3.5 months. Yeah, as mentioned here. Similarly, after February, you have March, April, May, then June 5th, uh, mid. So you'll get another 3.5 months. You will get another 3.5 months. But after this June examination, examination is uh, over uh, around, uh, we are in the 20 or 25 days after this examination. So from June cycle, we'll have July, August, September, October, November, and December. Examination may be held on December or January. So you will have guaranteed five months of full preparation time. So this should be your fastest strategy. What is that? You have enough time. You have enough time. So you have time of five months before you for this December 2023 cycle examination. Now it's your decision when you want to prepare, when you want to start your preparation. Based on that will be your result. 
so that should be your basic understanding because nowadays this uh, net or jrf examination became more, much more in competitive nature many aspirants especially from the subject history they are facing different uh, challenges in clearing this exam that's why i am here i have appeared for six times just for the sake of the uh, knowing exam uh, pattern or changes things and i have cleared all these six times that's my idea and i know how to uh, prepare and how to get for this examination that's why that's also we are going to discuss here so your first strategy and first important point is that you have five month full preparation time now we are in the uh, july 8th july completely august september october november and december first 10 days part of it is you will get five month full preparation time at least this is guaranteed so that should be your first uh, that should be the point that should you uh, you should keep in your mind first okay moving ahead we are discussing certain other strategies the strategy begins with here just to think about in which category you all belongs to either you can start now meaning july 8th you can start today itself or you some of you may have started before uh, some days or after this june examination itself and some category of students are like let me wait for the result yes definitely that's a good idea so but unfortunately as you as you can see this message this ugc chairman he announced simply that just read it let's read it okay let's read it nta plans to start the answer key challenge on 5th or 6th of july and aims to announce the final result in the second week of august so you have one month left or one month ahead to this result declaration my question is that how many of you want to waste your valuable time of preparation simply waiting for this one month after result you should you should be concerned you should, be concerned. Oh. you should yeah you should be concerned about this uh, one month of preparation lack or preparation period because recently you got your answers if you have uh, appeared for this june cycle the answer key was released you can check your answers and you can think about your december cycle as well so if you didn't uh, if you didn't uh, gave your attempt for june cycle just start your preparation now itself if you have appeared for june cycle and checked your answer key and you there is a good chance for you to clear this net or jrf just wait till the examination if you don't find any kind of such a possibilities just start it now itself don't waste your valuable time don't waste your valuable time this is another strategy that you have to keep in your mind so come this point either you can start now you have five months you are waiting for the result you will be behind four months and the third category don't be in that third category you know there are certain uh, people or aspirants they will always say this time i should clear this net examination i should clear this jrf that's my dream that's my dream they'll be always saying what kind of dream they'll be talking they'll they'll wait all the period till the exam notification obviously the exam notification will be around uh, uh, november or some days so october or november month even can be uh, in the beginning of december and there will be uh, yes now i can prepare the time is on actually the time is already on but you just on only after this notification that's a bad mistake that you are going to uh, do and that eventually make you always tensed and that eventually make you uh, like uh, oh if i could start my preparation a bit more earlier i could clear this examination this time you'll be thinking like that most of the aspirants are doing that they will simply think that i have studied history for degree pg and i am doing my phd now surely i can do that go with, go to the examination enjoy the 3 hours and finally come back with high lost it is this time also that would be the approach finally you will get so just understand that 
so simply and uh, actually this session is uh, purely in english uh, because i don't know hindi first of all i know uh, i'll just understand but i don't know how to speak okay this is english version fine uh, so continue my uh, talk hope everybody rest of other people can understand what i'm telling now or what i'm talking now so don't be in a foolish crowd those who are preparing for this examination after the announcement of notification why i am telling you now regarding this june 16th examination the notification time was till or application time time was till the end of may and within two weeks of duration itself the june cycle examination was declared so think about such kind of situation you are applying for this examination by june uh, uh, by may 20th sir or please say in hindi language uh, actually that's not possible man so i'm saying uh, because uh, first of all i don't know hindi uh, i just want to learn it in much more convenient way but i know and i can understand some hindi language and, and this session will be purely in english mode please excuse okay thank you ji fine uh, sorry for the inconvenience also this is purely english session okay uh, then my point was yes i think like if you have applied this examination uh, by around uh, may 20th okay next examination is to come i'm going to be much more prepared and i'll be doing my best for this time and the examination date was closed by uh, 31st may and you will get one week free time and the very second week itself the exam date was declared it was 16th surprisingly most of the history aspirants no time to study for i'll just show i'll just appear this time and i'll make my super power in december that will be their thought process so uh don't be late yourself if you have a strong and genuine uh, preparation uh, aspiration if you are an aspirant if you are an aspirant you can start it now itself don't wait for the notification don't be in the third category either be start now otherwise start after the result that's your choice but if you are starting now you have five months of beautiful five months and if you are waiting for after result you will be hung less than uh, four months that's idea I, so i don't this, understand uh, what should i do man because uh, i karenge, don't man? know very well sir english yeah i understood uh, ajay uh, but Please, sir, uh, uh, could anybody uh, help him later in, in a hindi in a hindi language actually mujhe hindi pata nahi that much <laughs> ajay humne hum kya karuge boliye हाँ सर थोड़ा हिंदी में बोलिए ओके अजय जस्ट एक्सक्यूज माफ करो फॉर द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस क्लास आई जस्ट वांट टू कंटिन्यू इन इंग्लिश इंग्लिश में कंटिन्यू करेगा ओके एट फर्स्ट आई बिलोंग फ्रॉम बेंगल एंड देन बिलोंग्स टू विच रीजन सर वेस्ट बंगाल से west bengal okay okay sir but uh, at first my language uh, is yeah, bengali but you are speaking english very well man <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i do one thing just uh, excuse the session abhishek could you help me uh, tell him yeah it is quite, quite interesting aj uh, just uh, excuse uh, so that i can continue other is such an will be having some kind of dilemma or confusion mushkil ho ye pata hota hai sir okay so guys uh, that should be your first strategy uh, just to choose your category just to choose your category i am not talking about any particular coaching or something just if you are very serious just to focus on which category in which category you are belongs to and either go for any particular coaching or otherwise have a self preparation i'll be discussing most of the points uh, on the basis of self preparation then you can uh, have this option either you want uh, this coaching or you can go with the, the, your self preparation itself that's your choice so moving forward uh, yeah so, so there are certain common issues faced by students regarding the preparation most of the students are saying they are not getting lack of a right guidance in, the, in this examination that's why i'm saying 
sometimes you may be uh, history in your graduation in your post graduation or you may be doing research work in graduation but you are not able to clear this examination because this exam is not a uh, measuring your what was your graduation mark what is your post graduation mark but is examining what is this net eligibility or uh, this jrf eligibility for that the examination will be in that manner examination nowadays becoming yeah, I've been discussing about the sources also in the coming slides. Uh, we are getting, okay, but just to be patient and wait for the session. So many students are saying they have many history works along with them, but they are not able to crack. Who asked you to read all the work to clear this examination? This examination is not based on any particular sources of, or works, but you have to have a certain limited amount or number of quantity of books with you for a basic and standard reading after that you should know how to clear this examination that is very important that is called as the right guidance along not only with the study materials you can clear this examination if it were if it was like that many aspirants could clear this examination only after uh, studying the previous year questions asked is there any just raise is there anybody if you, if there are uh, just feel free to communicate i am saying that the last examination many of the aspirants they are saying like sir we have heard many previous questions we have studied that one but uh, uh, questions are not getting as repeated mode or we are not able to answer that question previous questions are reference sources how the questions are being asked which areas you have to have much more focus only for that reference you have to refer previous questions and don't think that if you learn the previous questions you, you will be simply able to answer this all the other questions uh, in the upcoming examination previous questions are one of the important sources for your reference for your approach for your right way to the preparation similarly materials these are going to become one of the good sources for a better clarity only not for clearing this examination tell me uh, tell me about certain historians historian i'm not saying about any grade tell me about certain historians who wrote historical work to clear this examination in reality there is no such book but we can say some very important what's there they can be used as one of the study material but the questions can be asked from that one or most of the time the questions cannot be asked from them from those works it's very common in nowadays so i am insisting you guys the point is not having so many books the point is not referring many previous questions the point is how you can use these books how you can use this preq reference to clear this examination at least on the upcoming five months after after five months cycle that is the december cycle okay so i'm not going to explain of the students here but we'll be having certain strategical points on the way okay uh, tell me 1820 um, uh, malavika right uh, just to tell me uh, is it frequently uh, having this uh, cracking issue no no we could actually guess what you're saying but your voice is just cracking yeah what's the situation right now yeah is now you're or not? yeah now you're audible actually now you're audible but when okay, you were saying... uh, okay just to interrupt me with your voice itself actually, okay okay chat may be delayed okay that would be much okay. better okay thank you thank you so so first your preparation strategy is that your time duration that you have that should be your your strategy i'm not saying my strategy or your strategy your strategy should be you have five months of full time now second one uh, just to limit your sources as i said before and also the point is here i have simplified into three three things first you should have time number how you are going to utilize this next five months that's your time number that's very important part also you should have a minimum book list i'm saying minimum book list some of the students will have library with them around their tables 
ancient india ancient india ancient india medieval india medieval india modern india modern india many books nobody is going to read every book but in order to clear this examination you should have minimum idea maximum advanced exam related points i'm saying maximum advanced exam related points such kind of questions are are being asked nowadays and the most important part is that you are have books you are having time but if you are not having good practice or good elimination or good uh, practice, uh, approach towards questions finally you are going to lose this examination even if you read upinder singh full one by one okay you will be losing this examination because practice is one of another important area every student have because nowadays examination became much more competitive not simply qualifying examination is competitive examination in, in into such a manner it becoming so you should have one time table one uh, another thing is book list and third one is practice okay i'll be explaining certain very uh, important other points as well regarding the book list okay uh, just uh, consider these books i'm introducing both basic and advanced books just to tell me how many of you uh, went through these books one is india sanction passed by r sharma just to tell me uh, my core chat what is just asking about r sharma's india sanction passed no nobody okay somebody okay sneha fine i'll be discussing two sets of book from ancient from medieval and from modern why you know uh, there will be some students who had uh, no background of studying history in their graduation might be any other graduation subject and they chose this history for their post graduation for those students if you are having a self preparation make sure that you are reading the first book called as india's ancient past by r s sharma that uh, is going to give you a good framework and basic understand regarding each and every period and each and every basic points that is important but if you have that basic points and everything just go to the bigger one ubinder singh tell me how many of you and not if you completed is not possible uh if there is uh, anybody I, i should give them a good applause and respect uh, tell me uh, how many of you uh, s- uh, had a good interaction with that book of binder singh's a history of ancient and early medieval india or any kind of relation between with that book either if you, uh, when you went to this library yeah binder singh that's a book yeah right i saw you finally is such a kind of communication is also fine it's a thousand plus page High, high definition hd pages with the hd images hd contents everything is in hd high definition anybody give me response boys girls and everybody students give me response so that only this is a this is a purely interactive session that's what i'm saying give me response otherwise we won't be able to have this session beautifully give me yes or no that's called as communication in order to clear this this examination you should have uh, a good knowledge in paper 1 also in paper 1 you have one particular chapter called as communication in communication there is a particular uh, sub topic called as effective communication so when i am going to ask you certain things it is your responsibility to give me a good response otherwise it is called as bad communication it will eventually break with that's what i'm saying yeah not it completed yes no 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 give me that no that is beautiful also but if you are keeping silence that's a bad thing bad attitude okay give me at least yes or no thank you okay so is a one of the uh, one of the all time prized book uh, ubinder singh's ancient and early medieval india this is a high quality book it's not the aspirants because of the volume or because of the hd content as i mentioned earlier 
correctly so uh, one thing this book is very important for your examination because uh, most of the contents are discussed here you are not needed to go to any other source so we have ara sharma and ubidin singh as standard historical works at the same time uh, i am saying i am talking about self preparation okay i am talking about self preparation if you are going with the self preparation you have two choices with ara sharma and advance with ubinder singh don't jump into ubinder singh without having any basic information from ara sharma if you are reading it will take one year to complete this ubinder singh so uh, it's a long process uh, don't waste your valuable five months uh, i'll be show, i'll be saying certain alternative in our uh, crystal edu hub application mobile application you will get one particular uh, course program called as ugc net history december cycle in english in which we have added the simplified point to point wise of ubinder singh notes i'll be explain that though okay actually i have made that after one and a half years of preparation you can uh, uh, see that notes pdf notes from there and you can read it from there no need to study ubinder singh all in one, uh, all the line by line so keep in mind in this ancient past by r sharma and ubinder singh textbook basic understanding and one more source i'm going to introduce that if you are having self preparation and you want to have uh, one particular uh, book and that's a guide work by punam dalal dahia and here uh, uh, punam dalal dahia wrote this book ancient and medieval india for upsc examination upsc civil service examination but is one of the good source also the point is that as i mentioned earlier we are referring certain books in order to have a good knowledge about that topic not for clear in this examination if you want to clear no uh, it's not possible only with reading this textbook you should have to practice you should should have to practice how you are going to answer this question how you are going to have this elimination approach how you are going to understand when there comes this type of question so you have to answer for that you can refer our uh, youtube channel history for exams i have explained a certain english in english video how you can have this elimination method such kind of things so you can refer history for simply number 4 exams in youtube channel i'll be uh, providing certain links in groups as well so this is idea regarding ancient india coming to medieval india you have two set of book one is uh, the other is same sadish chandra sadish chandra medieval india there is a simple work one is ncert work and the other one is sadish chandra's historical work both are same this is a simple uh, simple work covering both the delhi sultanate and uh, mughal empire but for this examination you should have some advanced information for that you have to cover uh, this last two books medieval india part 1 medieval india part 2 in the medieval india part 1 we have uh, the discussion till mughal empire or covering all the economy polity all other aspect of delhi sultanate written by sadish chandra that is part 1 part 2 sadish chandra covers the mughal empire portions from sultanate to mughal empire as you can see in this picture so this work is very important and very beautiful work but i am saying if you are going to have this self preparation and reading and taking notes from that work it may take one hour, one year also for these two works because these works are that much voluminous that much discursive and have discussion with different dimensions so it's not possible to cover all the aspects but it's beautiful works and if you want any guide work you can uh, refer this vd mahajan history of medieval india that's also discussed for uh, civil service examination so you can choose whatever or whichever book you want but make sure that you are limited into a particular source either read the standard book or otherwise go for guide work guide works are most of the time are simple but you are appearing for this examination either for net national teaching eligibility right so you are becoming a teacher and you are saying about guide work or standard historians works definitely you have to speak about historians work so that should be your first point so i 99 percentage i suggest you to read this uh, standard book but it may take time but eventually you will be thankful to yourself at least so this is regarding medieval india coming to modern india one basic work is that biban chandra's history of modern india it's a simple work and that's a simple work 
uh, if you want to start with the modern india you can simply start uh, reading this one history of modern india okay and similarly what we have uh, some advanced works one is that india's struggle for independence the topics are discussed from 1857 revolt you can go with that book option number 1 you can go with that work option number 1 otherwise you can go with this beautiful work from placid to partition and after that's a terrible and a horrible work i don't know how many of you went through that but i have read that and i am teaching that uh, same for a upsc optional uh, subject as well so my point is that from placid to partition is a heavy loaded work as i said it to also take around one year of reading if you are taking notes from that on also that much patience is needed to read those one the comparison with the, the ubinder singh ubinder singh is hd work with hd content and hd images pictures but in placid to partition you would get such kind of pictures so this book will be totally dry mode i'm just to say i'm not uh, neglecting the hist- uh, historian's contribution but it's one of the most beautiful elaborative work that you will get and most of the modern indian questions are are being asked from this source itself but as i said not only uh, simply reading this book is a uh, sufficient or enough for your examination but you should learn how to answer the questions that is very important so option number 1 is struggle for independence option number 2 is from placid to partition choose one from them if you are not ready to read any standard work you have option number 3 that is spectrum modern india spectrum publication is actually uh, written by rajiv ahir ips for civil service students not for you but this book has covered many points that's why this is useful for you also but this book also covering around 1000 pages now it's your choice and your potential and now it's your choice and your potential how you have to proceed if you are going to uh, have this self preparation make sure that you are reading at least one book you are covering at least one book in one month by one month then only you will be able to cover uh, by this uh, december you will be able to cover all these points but you won't be having much more time for revision much more time for, for practicing questions these are very important in order to clear this examination think about like okay think about that one also so your preparation should be uh, final strategy your preparation should be you should have a basic knowledge of everything that's why uh, i have showed you the basic books of ancient india by r sharma medieval india uh, sadish chandra uh, sadish chandra's medieval india and um, uh, bibin chandra's modern india these are basics after reading basic make sure that you are having good revision then only you will be able to catch up what are the points we are discussing in the advanced session and you have to refer the pqs and again revise with the pyq model and practice more questions actually this strategy or this steps that that those are going to help you to grow your uh, success okay grow your marks and uh, get into your success so basics are very important that's why i'm saying if you are having any graduation other than history make sure that you are having good basics revise it very well revision is very important part of this examination prevq is understanding and practicing accordingly that is also very important elimination that much important so have this kind of a good preparation strategy and regarding the new approach actually this new approach was discussed after february 20th examination for june cycle but this is going to finally help you also i'll be having a brief explanation towards this one if you are having self preparation or any coaching make sure that you are following this one because for net examination this type of questions are being asked chronology questions are very important so whenever you are reading ancient india medieval india modern india make sure that you are having chronology with a certain significance like you have to focus on rulers battle chronology treaty chronology even chronology legislation chronology legislation chronology is more uh, frequently asked in modern india and shagar bandhapadya's placid to partition that source is very uh, helpful to crack such kind of chronological question and regarding kings there will be certain particular questions regarding kings especially from ancient and medieval india uh, for, uh, while learning about any particular king like uh, uh, like uh, for example you might have heard about prithviraj chauhan a medieval indian king you should know about who all the kings before him after him so chronological arrangement of kings questions will be asked title based king, uh, questions will be asked contributions of the king even nature of the king 
sometimes they will be provided with a certain paragraph and understand the king who said it or most of the time ashoka or akbar or uh, muhammad bin tughlaq such kind of questions are being asked so such kind of approach you, you should have whenever you are reading so this new approach and new strategy is very important to clear this examination and regarding the personality especially from freedom movement freedom movement okay freedom fighters or freedom movement you have to uh, learn about the philosophy of the freedom movement their works events associated with for an example tell me a simple question just to give me uh, this message if you know or give me no if you don't know who formed this uh, political association called as forward block i am not giving any option forward block was a political contribution made by which freedom fighter you can uh, use the mic or a chat subhash chandra bos yeah thank you very good very good it's a simple question right forward block so similarly there will be certain questions regarding the philosophy tell me who wrote this work called as philosophy of bomb philosophy of bomb forward block you will definitely hear because you are learning about subhash chandra bos but tell me the philosophy of bomb is a work written by which revolutionary or uh, which other anybody if you don't know just message me you don't know no sir don't know give me that so i'll be explain the two approach one you know basic things one you don't know i don't i'm waiting for your response give me that yes getting your response good good yeah most of the students don't know no props so history is like that by bhagavati charan bohra okay regarding revolutionary developments in india whatever it is regarding during the freedom movement so such kind of questions will be asked you will be confused or you sometimes you won't know such kind of things certain book based questions most of the time nowadays the questions are being asked based on religious texts especially for the ancient history of india like regarding different types of veda inside veda inside dharma shastras uh, they are asking different kinds of work uh, sometimes you can learn it or others skip it whatever it is but they are asking more religious based texts and cinema nowadays it became more trend four or five questions will be asked but don't waste your time i, I just repeat most of the student sir we cannot find um, like a good source regarding the history of cinema in india four to five questions are being asked there is asking only four to five questions and you are investing you are a good time of a good amount of time like one week or two week to answer to learn this topic it's not practically good you have another 95 questions from ancient medieval and modern also historiography portions you are wasting that one so don't worry you will be having a more clarity on this topic you should know the evolutionary process the contributional features and other most important personality associated the most awards associated with the cinema that is going to help you but don't waste your most valuable time on learning that because the cost benefit ratio will be very lesser okay regarding certain terminology terminology based questions will be also asked connected with the concept and significance so especially in the medieval and the ancient history of india there will be many terminologies or even in modern indian history also so such a terminology when you are learning particular terminology connect with what this terminology why i should learn this or what's the significance of that terminology in the in that particular historical context this should be your approach if you are learning or focusing on these things if you are focusing on these things make sure that guaranteed that you will be able to answer 50 questions minimum in the upcoming examination but you have to study accordingly don't show any excuse to yourself so that is regarding the uh, things and political history chronology is very important social history terminology is very important economic history connected with the kings and their economic contributions are very important cultural history uh, questions can be asked with the king and their cultural contribution dynasties and cultural contribution significance of certain cultural uh, 
a history like how oh, you'll be asked about a stuba you'll be asked about the different cave paintings you'll be asked about the uh, mural paintings you'll be asked about miniature paintings in the mughal era such kind of questions also be asked cultural history is also very important regarding the cultural history uh, you can refer one important source called as uh, plus one plus two introduction to indian arts it's an ncrt board it's very good work uh, if you are able to read you, you can just focus that it's very important source of information okay so that's all, uh, all idea that i have to discuss and we are as a team regarding the history with our chair of net qualified faculties uh, this is a basic team uh, all team members will have some kind of support to you and i am just showing the trajectory or the pathway july month you have to start with ancient india just note down if you want it august month cover medieval india september cover modern india october cover the balance portions also history graph just to cover these portions and focus on this element by november and december you have to focus on exam specific revision classes that is very important one is content development classes but another one is uh, revision classes test series and discussions these are very important to clear this examination you cannot skip this program this is very important just to focus on such kind of things then uh, regarding our history course some points are mentioned here i am not going to explain anything uh, there will be basic classes advanced live classes ncert classes comprehensive study materials 1000 plus mock questions live pak answering but this is very important uh, this this element is very important you know why as i said Uh, just so you can uh, refer our uh, history for exams this is a youtube channel history for exams just a refer you can you will be able to see some uh, live practice in models also there so that is very important to clear this examination then only we will be un- able to understand which area or we are we are facing difficulties in answering which type of questions so live pak answering practices are very important individual attention and mentorship will be provided and exam series revision classes the series all these are part of this course okay and uh, the basic point is that we have just started we have just started our crash course for june cycle in may may month and for december cycle we are having a full length english batch communication will be purely in english english ma- uh, batch uh, as you guys know we have one particular app called as crystal let you have application and in the in that you will get this uh, paper to history for this uh, course amount is 10000 10000 and you can even pay it in installment also for four months four months okay uh, you will be able to pay by uh, by october by paying this much of amount through application you can pay it uh, this is a basic course details you can just uh, think about it later but but the most important point if you are having this self preparation or coaching just to utilize this one this is very important obinder singh and shinindya knows this is very important you will get it in google play uh, just to go uh, open your play store search crystal edu hub you will be find this logo and uh, in this as you uh, as you saw that picture this one indian history crash course english indian history crash course in english Uh, or you just in it is free december 28th english medium you will be able to find this pdf obinder singh anchan it is a free note you can access it for free and you can read it from the okay also you will be able to see some very important basic or uh, some important class videos in that application then you can decide whether you want to join this program or not that's your choice okay so uh, that's all about uh, our today's discussion if you have any uh, queries and doubts you can simply ask me right now